This is the health monitoring device named Natotanga, made by the students of Makere University School of Engineering, Art and Technology. Josephine Namali was behind the idea. I was at school and my mom was at home and she was sick. And I wanted to keep around her, but I could not keep around her because I had exams to do. So I, had to, I, I thought of an idea of how can I keep monitoring her from wherever I am. Namale's colleague Isaac Mobiru transformed the idea into a hardware system, which has several parts such as temperature sensors. The sensors include the power sensor, we have a gyroscope and accelerometer, we have a communications model. Since it is designed with heart diseases in mind, it also has a pulse sensor. Yeah, so this sensor is able to measure the heart rate and BPM of the particular individual wearing it, a patient. So it also has an algorithm that keeps on calculating the heart rate of this particular person and then it's able to also monitor it and then analyze it. If it goes above normal, it's able to inform the next of kin person. Inside their own made housing, there is a microchip controller, which is programmed with the sensors and other parts. Sometimes a patient might fall when nobody's watching. Uh, the device has something called a, a gyroscope that is able to tell in real time when someone falls, maybe at times with a third. With this device, it can actually differentiate between a sudden collapse and just normal seats. Yeah, so once it detects so that someone, say you have a relative that's epileptic or they're hypertensive and they suddenly collapse on stairs, this device would know and actually inform you. In case of any abnormality, which is programmed on the device, such as temperatures and pulse, the caretaker, who may be miles away, gets a short message SMS and by use of GPS, the patient can easily be picked by an ambulance. We want to come up with an Uber for ambulances whereby if the device is able to pick up your location and something goes wrong, your temperature hikes and goes above, your heart rate becomes abnormal. Yeah, so this device will be able to alert the nearest ambulance around you. It should also be able to alert your doctor and the nearest hospital around you. The GSM or Global System for Mobile Communication helps the device transfer data to the recipient or the next of kin and server. We want to be able to integrate artificial intelligence with that device. Yeah, so we're actually doing deep research into deep neural networks whereby once we receive this data from the device, your heart rate, your temperature, and it's over to our server, we're able to analyze that data and come up with prediction algorithms so that we can predict uh, possible heartbeats, sorry, possible heart failures, or heart attacks, we can also be able to predict our collapses or anything like that because we have the vital symbols from a person. As the group developed the system about five months ago, they received concern from probable users about the privacy of patients. The information that will be sent to us will be sent when in an anonymous form whereby we will not be able to know the patient's name because you also know that you don't want anyone to just know your medical history but we'll be able to analyze it on our servers but you're, you as a patient will have like a unique number that will neatly identify you and that will also apply to the ambulances. The team plans to make the device more portable for easy use. Sudil Biaranga, NTV Innovation Nation.